reading for February 25th. Science of Mind, a Philosophy, a Faith, a Way of Life by Ernest Holmes. Reading from page 131, paragraph 2, through page 132, paragraph 7, using inclusive language. Our idea of deity evolves with our other ideas. After a belief in many gods, we come to realize there is one mind and one spirit back of all manifestation. One spirit or self-conscious life acting through the medium of one mind or subjective law, producing many manifestations. Multiplicity comes from unity without breaking up the unity of the whole. Spirit is self-knowing, but law is automatic and obeys the will of spirit, having no alternative other than to obey. Like all law, the law of mind is an impersonal force, and because of its nature, it is compelled to act. Soul and universal subjective mind have the same meaning and are the creative medium of all thought and action. Soul is also the substance of spirit, the unformed stuff from which all forms are evolved. Spirit, acting upon soul, produces creation. Spirit, soul, and substance intersphere each other, each being omnipresent. Creation takes place within spirit and is the result of the contemplation or self-knowingness of spirit. Creation is eternally going on. Change is always taking place within that which is changeless. Forms appear and disappear in a medium which of itself is formless. Spirit thinks or knows within itself and, as a result of this interaction, creation manifests. Creation is the play of life upon itself through divine self-imagination. Spirit must create in order to be expressed. Spirit, life, soul, substance, law, and unity are all coexistent and co-eternal with each other. The only thing that changes is form. Spirit makes things out of itself by becoming the thing it makes. There is no effort in the process. Conscious mind and spirit have the same meaning, that part of reality which is self-knowing. Subconscious and subjective mind, soul, and mental medium, universal subjectivity and law all have the same meaning, that part of reality which acts as law. Body, creation, or the manifest universe is the result of spirit acting through law. Body, creation, or the manifest universe is a result of the knowingness of spirit. Spirit alone is self-conscious. Law and manifestation are automatic reactions to spirit. Soul or subjective mind, substance or unformed stuff, and conscious spirit permeate all things and all people. There is an intelligence acting through everything, and everything responds to this intelligence. It cannot be too plainly stated that spirit or conscious intelligence is the only self-assertive principle in the universe. Spirit is the power that knows itself and is the only power that is self-knowing. Everything else is subject to spirit. The soul and only operation of spirit is through its word, acting as law through substance, producing creation.